we're back at the grill. This side right here, there's a couple of these tabs that are broke behind here, and I have a dent right here on this big boy. Back of wood, looking at the gap, you'll see as I come forward, right in there, it starts to see daylight underneath there. So this this one here and this one here, it, I can. If I can push them out, the rest I think are going to tend to want to correct itself. Okay, I'll show you on this side real quick. This side's not bad, bad at all. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent. What's going on here? I'm pushing my grill out because it's kind of flat. These welds broke down here. Okay, so what? I'm come to the conclusion is that this is bent kind of like this so what I'm going to do is take a just a piece of steel got sturdied out there okay I'm going to push here to try to push this down to get this grill closer push it down again right in there and I'm keeping it between two points here and here on this grill and as I rotate it out I can see these are a little lower than the outer ones but about eighth inch sixteenth of an inch consistent all the way out Okay, on this side, this side I've been hammering on, it's about the same, it really is. Alright guys, I guess the first step in trying to get dents out is to find them. And the one way I like to do it is, is I can use some... Uh, nice kind of stiff backer and I circled a couple I had found already when I was out there and just kind of to highlight them okay eventually what I'm going to do you, you all know this I'm going to strip this down to bare metal but while I got the paint on there the old paint's going to kind of give me like a guide coat so I'm just kind of highlighting it Right there, but by highlighting them, for me anyway, allows me to be able to to see where they are. As I take them out and I start to lift them up, I can actually work on. Uh, how high they need to come out. This dude right here is a bad one. You'll see this one pop. Just like that. And all these on the bottom are bad. Freaking phenomenal. Right there. That's going to take a little extra love. And all I'm going to do is just tap, tap, tap. Okay take a look at what we have now okay see that it's a little better see where I'm getting that that highlight right here okay got to come out more now I lifted it here okay I want to come in here and here we can give her a little harder love. Okay. We're closing the distance. We're closing that distance a little bit more. 
All right. Starting to scuff some paint right here. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to start working out here a little bit more. Feel. Kind of look on both sides. Right up in there. Right about there. And everything you do has got to be nice and gentle. It's not, you don't want to go too hard. Okay. Ah, let's see what we got. It's trying to lift that right there. I can still feel it's low. So let's see where we're at. More. Flip her over using my eyesight. Come underneath. Right there. Alright, right here I'm going to nail it again. Not much. Just enough. Right in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the flatter side now because I'm trying to blend. So we're just going to make in high spots. This this file is just highlighting, guys. I, I got a real file, trust me. It's almost time for me to get my good file. I don't I just don't want to destroy my good file. My good file I don't want to be picking paint up with. Okay, as you see me working on this spot up here, okay, kind of like the way to make sure you have no flat spots is to take a flat object and roll it across. If it wants to stop and go BAM, then you've got a flat spot. As you keep moving it, you can feel about the roundness to making sure that nothing is flat. See what I'm saying? Because this whole piece curves around. Alright. Feeling good about this right here. And the next area we're going to focus on is right here. This stamp right here. And you can see how it's highlighted out here too guys. But I brought this up and out flat now I have this curve right here that's still in. I marked it. Right here you see this X. That's the lowest spot on this area right here. Okay. So when I get ready, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this part right, right in here. This is going to be my first attack to lift. I want to lift this up, okay? Then I'm going to come back and work on this area right here. This will be my first, this will be my second, okay? Okay. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Let's take my sand. I don't want to take that paint off down here neither. I'm just because I want to use it as a guide. I want to use this paint as a guide. Okay, see how we brought the distance down a little bit. Let me zoom in on this, guys. And I hope I'm not too loud I'm talking here. You can see right here, I still have a little bit of a low spot there. But, this is the area in here that I need to focus on. So, I can come back in here, do my second spot as I planned, and then kind of hammer it out this way. Give her a little bit more love, a little harder. Let's see. Okay. I lifted it right out in here. That was not a good push. That was a bad, that was a bad push. Because I missed my spot. I missed my spot. I nailed it. 
right here. I mean, it helps. It helps, and it kind of splits the distance. But now I got some metal to take off. But I'm right in here is where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is because I pushed her a little too hard, I can come back over here and I can find that spot where I hit it too hard. And right there I can tell where I, where I smacked it too hard. I see you. Right there. I see it. Gotcha, gotcha. I got you, dirt dog. I know right where you are hiding. Careful because I don't want to take too much metal off. That's not too bad. I know I'm still seeing some highlight there. Okay. And that's going to give me a pretty good idea. Might want to be a little low in here, and I can still fix that some more. Okay? But, I'm not complaining about this.